Hello, ukulele bandit. So we've got a good one today. So I'm going to do a little series, I think, of two chord songs, maybe some three chord songs, and we're up it up with some fours and fives. But the idea really is to have a bit something for everyone. And then when I do my streams and jams and play alongs, there's a little bit for everyone to join in with. And this is a really good one to learn because it's just two chords. And they're two really nice sounding chords that are fairly easy to play between when you're starting out. So we're looking at C and G7, and this is Singing in the Rain. Uh, and it's a lovely, bubbly song. He's fallen in love, it's been raining. He doesn't care because he's in love. And uh, that's that's the message there. And the idea really is to keep that light, happy, strummy feel. So we're just gonna do nice light strums. And to start off with, we're just gonna look at the changing and how you can um, do this easily when you're practicing, sing and, and play the strumming. So especially if you if you haven't sung before and you're trying to learn and play play the songs, it's, it's really important, I think, to just sing anyway because it's uh, it gives you a really good idea of where those chord changes are. Now you notice what we've got on the sheet today is no chord boxes. Um, if you don't know C and G7, obviously I'm going to run through them very quickly. Um, but you can have the sheet aside so you can quickly glance them and check them out but the idea is to get good at these chords we don't really want to rely on seeing chord boxes in the song and that's okay when you're starting out and you need it as a little guide but if we have chord boxes in the song all the time it's a little bit distracting and also it, it distracts from knowing where the changes are so if you're focused on what the chord is rather than what words the chord is over and whereabouts it is in a song and how many beats etc then obviously that that can put you out of place and make it very difficult to learn the song so ideally the first thing you need to do is get the grips with the chord make sure you know the shapes and then when you follow the song try and get the shapes at the right point within the words so looking at that we've got i'm singing in the rain just singing in the rain with glorious feeling and then we've got i'm happy and then around about the happy on the ha or it could be slightly before or slightly after depending on how you, you sing it um, is a G7. I'll demonstrate that. Uh, first of all, looking at those chords then, so the third finger on the C, uh, which is, uh, obviously you should know that one, I'd imagine if you're here, but I'd go for it anyway. The third finger will be placed on the third fret on that first string, which is an A string. I'm just gonna lightly strum with my thumb for this just to make it, when I'm just chilled out and relaxing, it doesn't matter, it all goes out the window. I just do a nice light, light relaxing strum of the thumb. And then the first finger will be on that second string which is your E string second finger will go up on the third fret and the third finger will, will actually slide behind uh, on the second fret on the A string so the idea is that if we were playing between those two chords so that's the G7 chord if we're sliding between if we're playing the changes if I was going between the C I'll just slide that third finger back one fret and then put the first finger on the second fret. So I'm going to finger order now. Second finger on that third fret on, or you can see it up here on the second fret, sorry, on the third string. So that's G7. So we've got our C, and then I would slide it back, first finger in the first fret, and then I would place that second finger up on the second fret, first string, and then I'd strum that, that's my G7. So that's the change. And the idea really is just to, to play, then sing a line, play a single line, play a single line, to start off with, just to get the feel of where it is. I'm C singing in the rain just singing in the rain what a glorious feeling i'm and then you go to the g7 slide it back put the other fingers in i'm happy again and i would just put the chord in slightly before that that line just so that you can put it in then sing the line i'm laughing at clouds put it before if you want dark up above Cause the sun's in my heart and I'm Find the sea Ready for love Let the storm clouds chase Everyone from the place Come on with the rain I've a smile on my face I've walked down the lane With a happy refrain Cause I'm singing Just singing in the rain something like that i'm just having a little bit of fun with it i'm feeling it i'm playing it i'm just trying to make it light and bouncy obviously there's not much rhythm going on that's me just playing a chord and singing a line if you don't feel comfortable with the singing you can just join in with me and rewind it again or there's lots of other versions of people singing and playing it on on youtube um or even better when you're in a group and when we're in the live jams we're going to play it and all sing together um, so the, the whole idea with this is then just to get used to playing between those two chord changes. So the next thing will be 
to put the strumming in. Now, obviously, if you're just if you're not comfortable with singing, you can just keep up with me and try and strum the chords. But always anticipate the change if you know it's coming ahead. So if I go, what a glorious feeling, you know, you look, you can see that if you're strumming, you're not worried about the words. You're just looking at the next chord and you know happy's coming. So before then, that's when you want to be sliding the finger back, putting the others in. So what a glorious feeling. And I put it in. I'm happy again. And that's why you, you need to give yourself more time between the changes rather than wait until it comes and then suddenly trying to find it. And it's a bit difficult. Obviously, you just take your time. You, you see what a glorious feeling. Come off the C then. Come as early as you need to to get that G7 in time. You'll find the more you get used to doing that, the quicker the change will be, the, the, the more closer you can get to basically uh, changing it at the right point without having to do it too early. Uh, but it doesn't matter really because you can just light strum and sing along. So that if you're going to keep the light, if you're strumming along with the song, nice, it's a swingy feel, which means it's a relaxed downstroke. One, two, three, four. I put a little upstroke just, just at the back. So down, up, down, up, down. And that gives it that swing feel. might miss a few here and there just really relax it doesn't really matter too much you just want to keep the bouncy feel keep your arm moving uh, to that downbeat one two three I'm singing in the rain I just singing in the rain what a glorious feeling I'm happy again I'm laughing at clouds so dark up above Cause the sun's in my heart And I'm ready for love Let the stormy clouds chase Everyone from the place Come on with the rain I've a smile on my face And I walk down the lane with a happy refrain cause i'm singing singing in the rain and then you could add live we could put a little bit of kazoo in there or whatever for a for a whole session round and then join him we could go back through the singing again you can re re go around this as many times as you want but basically yes that's that's the song it's a lovely light bouncy feel and i was really really trying so hard just to stick to a very basic rhythm and not go off on a tangent, which I so often do, and trying to keep that singing just nice and light and bouncy, which is what, what you should be aiming to. And if you are learning to sing, so this is a little tip, if you're learning to sing and play, it's not easy, and, and everyone still, if you're, if you're playing an instrument and singing, uh, everyone will have a, a different tip for this, and this is my little, little tip, I guess, that helped me and, and probably would help you too, is that um, try and mimic what you're singing with the strumming to start off with. So then you're not focused on doing two things at once. You'll just focus on really playing in the rhythm of what you're singing. And that's a little bit easier because it's less thought process. So if you're if you're singing it and playing and you want to keep the strum and you find that you're doing two different things at once and it's going all going over the place, just copy where your words are. So the rhythm of the words. So a little example. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious That's the idea. The idea is to sort of mimic the rhythm. You could do that just on a C chord and just try and get used to playing the words, which is kind of what I was doing there. I didn't put the G7 in the right place there. But if I go for it again and this time play a little bit more bouncy, so I'm singing in the rain. What a singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. You can hear almost the rhythm of the words in the strumming. It's just I'm keeping more of a solid time. I'm actually filling in those gaps as well. So it's a good starting point just to sing it in the rain. Just sing it in the rain. And notice the strokes. I'm not worried about the strokes. I'm just the upstrokes are where the quick notes are. But it doesn't really matter too much. You can do it all down strokes. Sing it in the rain. Because you're focusing on chord changing and timing. And if you try and focus on too many things at once, it is very complicated. So we can hone in all these different things to play, you know, and, and there's lots of ways of doing it. The most important thing is you're having fun, you're enjoying it, 
and this is a really 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 fun song to play and sing as you can tell and uh, we could do a reggae version of it we could do all sorts of versions we could do some finger picking but today just keep it simple keep it light look at those changes we will do this in our jam and uh, yeah have fun enjoy it and i will see you very soon take it easy bye bye <laughs>